is hi how are you I'm just gonna move this a bit closer you can see me what's going on guys sorry I'm a bit late it's very late live today because I've had a few client calls this morning so I'm sorry I'm coming on so late for all the people on the East Coast in the US 11 p.m. you're probably all asleep hi guys hopefully I'll catch some Central Americans some Pacific Standard Time and some Aussies Oh, my hair. How are you guys? Hi, Seven Shivers. Hi, Icy Witches. How are you guys? What's going on? Put your manifestation questions in the chat for me. God, my hair. I really need to get the hairdresser's stat. What's happening, guys? Hi, Wanda Zandra. How are you guys? So I've had a few client calls this morning, which means I have... I know I haven't got to you yet. If you sent me your time zone, I haven't got back to you. Um, Jasmine, a couple of people, I know you've sent me your time zone. I'm getting back to you to make a one-to-one -one booking, I promise. Great, how am I? I'm great. How are you, Wanda Zandra? Hi, guys. Hi, Rajan. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining me. Do you have any manifestation questions? Stick them in the chat. Hi, Garrett. Hi, guys. Hi, Beth. How are you, guys? If you have any questions, guys, please put them in the chat because I can't see any. I'm just seeing Wanda Zandra saying hello and Icy Witch is saying hello. Jessie Fox has joined. Callus Mum has joined. Sarah's joined. Hi, guys. Monica's joined. So, guys, if you have any questions, stick them in the chat. And if you can't see them in the chat, because TikTok's being an asshole, stick them in that little chat box. See the little chat box with the question mark? Stick them in there, darling, if you can't see them. Well, I was excited for our call. Yay! Yay, Christine! Woohoo! When's my next call? Oh, I've got the wrong one up. Um, I'm doing well. Doing my routine with manifesting and looking forward. Can't wait for all the things. Oh, yay! Would you say... Oh, no, I'm not reading that. Jesus loves you. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow, we've got some terrible... Um, what do you call them? Spammers in here. People who need desperate attention. Oh, dear. How, what a shame for you all. Were you not loved as children? Were you ignored by your parents? Were you bullied at school? What's going on with you? Why are you such an asshole in life? I blocked you all. Goodbye. Guys, do you have any questions? Do you do reality shifting? Well, we're all kind of reality shifting, guys. When you step from one state to the other, you're stepping from the state of poor to the state of wealth, from the state of single to the state of coupled up. That's reality shifting, really. We're all doing it all the time with different states you're in. Mm-hmm. Hey, you're amazing. Oh, hi. Thanks, Telia. GI. Tips to get into and stay in queen energy. Seven shivers. Great question. Guys, I want you to step into that state every day. Every day, get out of bed. Step into the world of being a queen. Okay? Step into that state every day. It's the state of being that you want to be thinking about. What state of being am I in today? Am I the kind of person who lets people walk all over them or am I a queen when I walk down the street? Am I a queen when I'm standing in the queue at Starbucks and expecting free things? expecting people to say oh go before me and you go thank you queen energy okay am I expecting people to give me compliments and give me things and wait on me hand and foot that's queen energy am I just walking around as if I'm the shit that's queen energy step into that state every day guys and if you jump out of it doesn't matter jump back on the horse with I'm a queen I'm treated like a queen I am so lovable everyone is mesmerized by me men are magnetized to me people love doing things for me everyone does everything to make me happy start saying those things darling can I jump from the state of having strict parents to having chill parents in reality shifting absolutely darling just say my parents are so chill my parents think I'm so responsible they let me do whatever I want I have so much freedom don't say they're not strict saying, my parents let me do whatever I want. My parents think I'm so responsible. My parents are so chilled out. Start saying that, darling, and they will. Should I mess with the 3D? What do you think my answer is that's going to be? You've been here enough. What are you planning to mess with? Good luck with that. What are you planning to do, darling? If you mess with the 3D but your thoughts are still shit, well, good luck with messing with the 3D, guys. You've got to be aligned with the thoughts in your head thinking he wants me and only me, blah, 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 I'm a queen, and then you ring them, fine. But if you're ringing them from a state of desperation, but you're going, I'm fine, I'm so confident, but deep down you're thinking, God, I hope he answers the phone, I hope he doesn't leave me on red, I wonder if he even wants to hear from me. It's what you're thinking that matters, guys, not what you do in the 3D. 
Lord, you brightened my days. Oh, wonderful, Sandy. Hope you're feeling better, darling. I wanted a text from an ex-wife but got an email. How do I manifest it back to get back together? Well, it doesn't matter, darling. Just start affirming that you and her never broke up. There was no breakup. She's no ex-wife. She's your SP. She's your woman. She's your wife. She loves being my woman. She loves being my wife. She loves me so much. She can't stop thinking about me. I'm the only man for her. She doesn't want anybody but me. She loves every little thing about me. Okay? She's blowing up my phone when she doesn't talk to me and see me. She doesn't, she doesn't feel right. She needs to hear my voice. Start saying those, darling. Then you won't get emails anymore. How come when I manifest, what I want turns out to be crap and I don't want it no more? Well, Star Fox, because I don't know what you're doing, but you're probably assuming that all the time. Oh, everything I do turns out crap. And then it does. You're telling your mind, everything I do turns out crap. And your mind goes, oh, God, yeah, everything we do turns out crap. So it will turn everything into crap. Stop saying that. Start assuming everything in my life is perfect. I can do no wrong. Everything I want wants me. I get everything I want. I'm the master of my reality. Start saying that shit, darling. Any tips on remembering to constantly affirm? I always go days without doing it because I forget to. Well, control, Rebecca, do you want your shit or not? Guys, how bad do you want this? It's just new thinking. It's not a chore. It's not something you sit down and go, oh, time to affirm. I'm going to do this job, this chore. Guys, it's new thinking. Why aren't you doing it at every idle moment when you're sitting on the toilet, having a shower, washing dishes, going for a run, exercising? When you're in the middle of talking to people and they're talking and you're not listening, you should be affirming in your fucking head. Guys, this needs to be a constant thought, new thought. If you're treating it like a chore, you obviously don't want your shit. Control, Rebecca, you'll never get your shit. Good luck with that. Guys, you've got to change your habitual conscious conscious unconscious thinking are you changing it or are you treating this like a job how bad do you want this is my answer to that what about anxiety because nothing is changing how do you reset your mind well stop saying nothing's changing guys you can't see movement sometimes sometimes it's happening behind the scenes you don't know what's going on you've got to trust in the unseen how do you know they're not sitting around talking about you to their friends? Oh, I wish I'd never broken up with her. She was the best thing that ever happened to me. How do you know what's going on? You don't. Trust in the unseen. Stop freaking out. Start affirming. I have nothing to fear. It's just my imagination. I am so calm. I am so serene. I have nothing to fear. If you feel anxious. I want my SP really bad. Well, Monica, good luck with that. I want them really bad. That desperate energy is not going to help you. What are you doing about it? Are you affirming for yourself concept? Are you living there in your mind? You're clearly not because you want them so bad. Guys, if they're already here in your mind, what do you want them for? They're already here in your mind. You're already with them. Guys, you've got to get your head around this. Stop looking out here. <laughs> Where are they? The more you do that, the more they won't be here. What are tarot readings are negative even when I'm happy and affirming? It's because it's your old thinking, darling. Your old thoughts manifest, okay? The 3D is a reflection of your old thoughts. doesn't matter if you're affirming and being happy now, okay? It's just the tarot read is just reflecting the old shit you used to think. I'm trying to figure out how can a person believe in soulmates but not spirits or past lives? What, what does it matter? It's just whatever you believe, darling. You can believe in soulmates or past lives. or What does it matter? What does it matter what anyone else believes? How is it any of your business? I don't understand the question. What's that got to do with manifesting? Absolutely fucking nothing. You're in the wrong group. Job interview tomorrow. Um, I'm too old for this. <laughs> Calm down. Well, Anita, queef. What's your problem? Fuck off. Um, I remember the universe doesn't like desperation. You have to affirm. Well, it's not the universe, darling. You create the fucking universe. The universe isn't doing shit. It doesn't not like it or like it. There's no such thing as the universe liking or not liking. It's literally you're sending out desperate thoughts and desperate feelings with those thoughts. That's all that's happening. There's no universe doing anything or feeling anything or liking anything or not liking anything. It's just air. Why are you angry? Well, go away. I'm not angry. Um, guys, you clearly haven't watched one of my lives before. I talk fast and I get passionate about things. If you don't like it, fuck off. Okay. I get everything I want. It just turns out to be crap when I get it. Well, darling, because you keep saying it. And you're saying it and saying it to your mind, oh, things turn out crap, so they fucking do. I don't know what to tell you. Your mind is always listening. If you tell your subconscious mind that shit, that's exactly what will out picture in your reality. Everything turns out crap for me. Well, it will. Stop thinking that shit. 
You create your reality with your subconscious thinking. Are you subconsciously thinking everything turns out crap? Yes, you are, because you've put it in two fucking questions so far and I've just told you not to say it and you've said it again. Stop saying it. Stop thinking it. Um, he reached out, but it turned ugly. Well, Sadie, it's just a reflection of your old thinking. If he's turning up as the old him, just forget it. Revise it. Revise the whole conversation. Doesn't matter what he said. It's just a reflection of your old thoughts. Did he say anything that you might have thought before? What comes out their mouth is just what you thought at some point. Don't take offense to it. Okay, revise it. Don't react. Jump back on the horse in your mind. Everything's fine. We never broke up. He loves me and only me. He's this kind of guy. He loves me like this and treats me beautifully. Blah, blah, fucking blah. Stop focusing on the 3D and start focusing on your mind, what you want to happen, and don't react. Why did it turn ugly? What did you say and do? Stop doing that. <sighs> I'm, he wants me. I'm just too prideful. Get over that shit, Anna Pell. You'll be stuck here for the rest of your life saying, I've got so much pride. Right. I haven't talked to my ex in two years. How can I get him to call now? Well, stop calling your ex for a start. Imagine you never fucking broke up. Or if you can't imagine you haven't broken up because two years is a long time, you can say, okay, we've taken this break for two years, but it's made us better people. He loves me more than he ever did. He can't stop thinking about me. He wants me back. And imagine you're already back together in your mind. He can't stop thinking about you. You're all he wants. You're the only girl for him, etc. Any questions, guys? I've got a job interview tomorrow. Well, darling, just assume you've got the job already. Assume when you walk in that they love you, they laugh up everything you say, you are the perfect candidate, and when you walk out, imagine you work there already. Um, God, lots of spammers in here tonight. How can you share things that you have manifested? Can I share things? Oh, guys, I've shared it so much, people get bored <laughs> because I've spoken about them so much go to my facebook group guys manifest live with laws and watch the early videos in probably videos one to five i describe in great detail all the things i manifested like my brand new car that i didn't think would be brand new and i got credit for it even though i got told i'd get no credit in the whole of australia this house when i couldn't get it a rental because there's a rental crisis okay lots of things go to my facebook group manifest space live space with space laws put the spaces in between if you're searching for it on facebook or click the link in my tiktok bio you can watch all these lives back there's number one to number 70 something hours and hours and hours of content all your questions will probably be answered and i do talk extensively about my manifestations in the first couple um i'm new here what's going on we're talking about manifestation and changing your negative subconscious thinking ask a question when I stopped doing affirmations, my life got hard but started again and got better. Yes, darling, because it's just new thinking. If you're habitually thinking bad shit and you're not affirming, the bad shit will continue to happen and things will get hard. It's just new thinking, guys. It's all affirming is. I'm already married to him. Well, Monica, what are you doing about it? Are you just coming on the live saying, I want him really bad? What are you doing about it? Are you doing the affirming? Are you living in the end? You're clearly not doing enough of it because you're out here going, I just want him so bad. Oh, where is he? Or are you living in the end in your mind, Monica? He's already with you. You're clearly not. Stop looking out here, guys. It's delayed. It's slow. Live up here. You'll be much happier and less desperate. And not saying things like, I need him so bad. That energy, no help you. Thank you so much, Loz. You're welcome, Sarah. Can manifesting ever be too selfish? Uh, CM, welcome. You clearly don't understand that you're manifesting all fucking day. You can't help it. It's how your life was created. Your subconscious habitual thinking creates your reality. Did you understand that? All you're now doing is doing it consciously, trying to get the things you do want instead of the shit you don't want. Look at your life. What shit have you got in your life you don't want? Oh, ta-da, you did that. You manifested it selfishly <laughs> by just thinking. It's not selfish, darling. It's thinking creates your reality. Subconscious, habitual thinking, not one thought, two thoughts, habitual thinking, okay? You're doing it all the time without even realizing it's not selfish at all. It's what you naturally do all day long with your brain. Um, any more questions, guys? I have a weird skin infection. I'm trying to live in the end where it's gone, but it's not. Darling, live in the end of having clear skin, Every day, just say, I love my clear skin. Affirm, I love my clear skin. My skin is so beautifully clear. My complexion is perfection. My cells are renewing themselves daily. My subconscious mind, which created my body, knows how to heal every cell, tissue, and, and 
organ in my body. It knows how to repair it. It made my body. My subconscious mind is currently repairing my body daily. Mm -hmm. Say those things, darling. My friend always tries to force the 3D. What advice can I give her? Stop! <laughs> she's not. If she's not changing her mind and changing her thoughts, fuck all will happen. She'll just fuck things up more. Darling, tell her to come watch these lives. Get her to join the Facebook group. And then she'll realise that she's fucking with it and it's just going to ruin things for her. Today I did actually catch myself saying nothing ever works out for me and I changed my thinking. Wonderful, Bamsinam. Wonderful, my darling. Well done. You've got to stop those old thoughts, guys, in their tracks. No, hang on. Everything works out for me. My life is perfect. Shut up. Um, what? At what point do you let go of your manifestations and allow them to come to you? Oh, Rosie Weber, Weber you've been listening to some Law of Attraction moron, haven't you? That thinks letting go to the universe is going to do shit for you, darling. That doesn't work. I'm sorry. But what are you going to do while you're letting go of it? Oh, I'm never going to think about that thing I want again. Okay. Within two seconds, you'll fucking think about that SP, that X that you want back. It doesn't work letting go, darling. You have to consciously persist, persist, persist in the new thinking about the situation so it can come about. Persist until it hardens into fact. Letting go is complete and utter crap and never fucking works. And the only time it works is because you're focused on it a lot before you let it go and miraculously somehow it manifested. Letting go doesn't work, darling. Please stop watching any fucking idiots who talk about that. Because how are you, you going to forget about your manifestation, the thing you want? Are you going to forget about it and not ever think about it again? Good luck with that. You're not. So persist until it hardens into fact. Yes, Rosie. Amazing, yes. Um, I've been affirming every day and someone I rarely spoke to at work has noticed a difference. Have they, Sarah? Yay! What did they say? Oh, wonderful. Since our call, that's so great. Ah, uh, la, la, la. No, 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 no. I'll send her an invite to the group now. I keep getting on at everyone to watch your lives. Oh, do you, darling? <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Um, how to stop thinking of negative thoughts. Love at Williams 23. Darling, you have to replace those thoughts. You can't make thoughts go away. They're persistent. They'll continue until you replace them with something new and replace them and replace them and replace them and replace them with repetitious thought, which is new affirmations. So write down all your negative thinking that you had today. Write it all down. I'm a piece of shit. No one loves you. Men never commit to you. Men cheat. Blah, 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 blah. You're so dumb. God, your ass is fat. Whatever you've thought. Then write the complete opposite. My ass is perfection. Men have always fallen in love with me so easily. Men love and commit to me. I am perfect just the way I am. I am beautiful inside and out. Whatever the opposite is of that shit that you were thinking. Then affirm and affirm and affirm and affirm those new thoughts every time you think that old thought. Do it on the hour every hour. Replace that old shitty thinking with new thinking. That's the only way to do it. You can't cancel the thoughts out. You can only replace them. And after a while, after you've repeated it enough, it'll start to fucking sink in and then you'll start to believe it. Can't exist in a vacuum. You've got to give your mind something else to think. Go and watch all my lives, darling, in the Facebook group. You'll get it. Yes, I'm living in the end, laws and saying my self-concept and my affirmations too. Well, then what are you fucking worried about? You've got to have some patience, Monica. Guys, go and watch my thing where I screamed in the video about manifesting isn't magic. Are you guys expecting this to happen in a week? How much patience do you have? If he turned up in a year and said all the things you wanted to hear, could you wait that long? I'm not saying to wait a year, but I'm saying, guys, you've got to have a bit of patience. This doesn't happen overnight. It change, takes a while for your shitty subconscious thoughts to go away. Have they all gone away, Monica? I bet you they fucking haven't. I love how blunt you are. <laughs> Thank you, Karina. I can't help it. Uh, oh, thanks for all the stars. Which past lives did you recommend for SPs? So, guys, go to um, Manifest Live with Laws number 25 and number 41. 41 is about getting rid of the old story. 25 is about your self-concept for your SP. But if you look at the titles of each of the lives, go to the videos section and go down and you'll see the titles. And I'll say, getting your ex back, self-concept, working on the old story, creating the new story. There's lots. And I talk about SPs in every fucking live. I talk about getting your ex back and your self-concept in every live. Trust me. But number 25 and 41 are probably the ones where I talk the most about it. But there's lots of others. I've added a lot recently. There's a lot me talking about getting your SP back. Thank you so much, Lodge. You're welcome, Sarah. 
Um, 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 any more questions, guys? Guys, if you don't follow me already, I do go live twice daily. I normally go live a lot earlier than this at night time, US time, but I just had three client calls this morning, so I'm sorry I'm on so late. But do follow me so you know when I'm live and click the notification bell. And also join the Facebook group. I do give you warning, like I'm going live in five or live in 15 or live in an hour, so you know I'm going to be live because sometimes TikTok doesn't send you the notification of the lives. It's really annoying. I go live twice daily. How often should we affirm? Jordan, every moment of every fucking day, no. Whenever you have an idle moment, darling, sitting on the toilet, having a shower, driving, walking, exercising, when is your brain idle, when you're just thinking crappy thoughts, then. Then morning when you're waking up, lying in bed before you even look at your phone, then. When you're falling asleep, then. And then give yourself reminders in your phone as much as you can to do it, to remind yourself. How hard do you think we... Oh, no, I'm not going to read that crappy comment. I think, Harry, you're just wanting attention, aren't you? Um, how can I manifest a girl don't work at the same job as me and my friend? Just imagine she goes away. Just imagine people coming and saying, oh my God, she quit. Can you believe it? Imagine a phone call or someone coming to you at work. Or just imagine that she's nice to you, darling. She's pleasant to be around. Change her in your reality. Uh, do you have to be in a positive mindset in order to manifest something good? No, Sarah, you don't have to be happy all fucking day. You've been listening to some LOA idiot. You don't have to be happy all day, guys, in a positive mindset. All you need to do is think new positive thoughts. You don't have to be in a mindset all fucking day of positivity. That's toxic positivity, and it's not possible for any human being in the world to be positive all the fucking time. I don't care if you're a Buddhist monk. You can't. What does he do when he stubs his toe? He's going, oh, I feel so happy about stubbing my toe. You can't do that, darling. All you can do is replace your negative thinking when you, it pops in your mind and try and think positive thoughts to cancel out the negative ones. That's all. You can manifest all day long, angry, angry, sad, hungry, not hungry, positive, not positive. First time here, just want to say hello. Oh, thanks, Elizabeth. Hello. Can you manifest for someone else? Yes, I do it all the time, darling. Just imagine what you want for them. Imagine them coming back to you and saying, oh, this thing worked out. And you go, really? How about that? I do that all the fucking time for other people when they don't want to listen to me and I go okay and I think that thing's all going to get sorted out without him having to pay that bill that bill is all going to be sorted out they're going to say to him you don't need to pay it I did that for my brother recently okay I do it all the time I imagine people's businesses booming and they'll come to me oh my god I'm overrun with clients I'm going to need to get another employee and I'm like oh because I've been affirming their business is booming they're overrun with clients <laughs> and then I feel bad that they're like Overrun with work. <laughs> I do that all the time. What does Neville say? Why does Neville say feelings matter? I'm confused if thoughts or feelings matter or both. What Neville is talking about is the feeling of it is done. How would you feel if it were true? That's what he says. How would you feel if it were true? So the feeling of it is done. Ah, oh, it's done. Relief. Contentment. Hmm, it's done now. That's what he's talking about. Then if any feelings come after that when you've got the thing of happiness, joy, whatever, then that's great. But he's not saying force a feeling to get the manifestation. He's saying live in the end as if it were true. And then once you felt it were true, how would that then feel? It's not necessary to conjure the feeling. What he wants you to imagine is that it's already done. Then a feeling may come from that or it may not. But he's not asking you to feel a feeling. He's asking you to feel it is done. Imagine in your mind that you are the man and woman you want to be. That's the feeling he's talking about. So many people confuse that. Candace, for some reason, on this TikTok, is banging on at the moment about feelings, 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 feelings. I've listened. She had this video. That I, I've listened to 300 hours of Neville. Oh, good for you, darling. So is every fucking other manifestation person, but who cares? Oh, thanks, Karina. And she's going, and he talks about feelings all the time. And I feel like writing back to her and saying, Candace, you've completely misunderstood him. It's called the law of assumption. Is an assumption thought? Well, how is it not thinking then? Guys, you can't have a feeling without first having a thought. The only thing you control is the thinking. If feelings come, great, but they're not necessary. The only thing you can control is the feeling that you get before the, the sorry, the thought you have before the feeling. If you want to feel sad on stage and someone's dying and you're an actor, you have to conjure up a thought to feel sad. Try and feel right now panic. Do it. Try and feel right now overjoyed. Do it. You can't do it, guys. It's impossible to feel a feeling without first thinking, what would make me overjoyed? What would make me panic? You have to have a thought first, then a feeling. So the only thing you can control is the thought. If the feeling comes after, great, but it's not necessary. The only thing you can physically control for manifesting is your thinking. Sorry. Anyone who's telling you you need the feelings doesn't understand that before you can do the feeling, you need the thought. 
So the thought is the most important thing. The feeling comes after. It always comes after. It can't come any other way other than after a thought. It's physically, physiologically impossible. Okay. Do you use crystals? No, darling, because I don't believe in them. If you believe in them, fine, but it's only your belief in them that makes them work. They don't have any power of their own. Persist with my affirmations until my 3D conforms. Yes, persist, persist, persist until it hardens into fact. Has it conformed yet? Has it hard? Can you see it? Keep persisting. Yes, darling. What's the biggest thing you've manifested and in what amount of time? Probably the biggest thing recently was my new car and I did that in a month and a bit. So I just drove my old shitty car as if it was my new car and I said, I love my new car. It was so easy for me to get. I love my new car. I love my new car. I love the air conditioning. It's so lovely and cool in here. I have so many technological things and the interiors are so lovely. I can listen to my YouTube videos. Meanwhile, it was 45 degrees outside Celsius. Hot air was coming through the window. My dog was dying on the front seat and I was saying, I love the cool air conditioning. I love my new car. And I had a car with no air con, no power steering. It was green. I was imagining a white, brand new white car. And I got a brand new white car, exactly what I imagined. I wasn't imagining a white, I kept saying new, but I was imagining a second-hand car. And I got the second-hand car when everyone told me I would get no credit. And I got lent money when I had the worst credit rating in the world. Then my dad offered to pay off the loan. So I basically bought a brand new car with the amount that I had for a second-hand car. And I got the exact car I wanted. I journaled it, and it's exactly the car. I love my new car. <laughs> I do love my new car. Um... I listen to a few, but feeling is the secret is the best to start. Yes, guys, feeling is the secret. It's very confusing, the title. Neville's book, Feeling is the Secret. He doesn't mean feelings. He says feeling is the secret, the feeling. Okay, that's the easiest one to read. Loz, can I manifest physical health things such as getting an appetite or hunger back? God, I'm so hungry all the time. I have the biggest appetite. I'm constantly hungry. Start saying that, darling. Okay? I'm never full. I'm constantly eating. Why am I so hungry all the time? I'm suddenly so hungry all the fucking time. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Start saying that, darling. How do you personally journal, Loz? I don't actually, but that time I did write down what I wanted in the car. I wrote down the description. I'll find it for you one day. I'll bring it in and read it to you. And I found it when I was talking to my dad after I got the car, and he said, that is the car. And I was like, oh, shit, it's exactly the car. Um, I, I just have a little journal. I barely ever write in it. I did used to write in it a little bit. When my SP and I first broke up, I did write a few things, but then I decided that thinking was more important. What about weight loss? I love my tiny waist. I love my hourglass figure. God, I'm so skinny at the moment. God, I'm just eating and I breathe and I lose weight. Start saying those things, darling. Imagine people commenting on how much weight you've lost. How to manifest my desired body and looks. Just what I said. I'm perfect. Just the, um, I love my body the way it is. Um, my body is perfection. Look at me. I'm so fucking beautiful. And then start saying what the kind of body you want. I love my hourglass figure. I love my tiny waist. I love my popping ass. Whatever it is you want, start saying it, affirming that, darling. Do you have to be super specific with your manifestation example? Say the model of the car. No, I didn't say the model of the car, but the car I ended up getting was exactly the shape car and color I wanted. I wanted a square looking hatchback, but I didn't know the model. And the car I ended up getting was the most obscure car. It was an MG and... I wanted an MG all my life. When I was a child, I always loved vintage MG sportsters, roadsters, and I've got an MG now. And when they said MG, I was like, my God, my whole life I've wanted an MG, vintage MG. So one day I'm going to buy a vintage one, <laughs> but I've got a new one now. So you don't have to be, you can be specific if you want. You can imagine the Mercedes Benz emblem if you want. You can imagine your key ring with Mercedes on it. If you really want to be that specific, you absolutely can. What affirmations can I say about clear skin? My complexion is perfection. I love how clear my skin is. As you're rubbing in, you know, your benzoyl peroxide or your retinol, I love how clear my skin is. My skin is so beautifully clear. Everyone's commenting on my beautiful, glowing, clear skin. Affirm that every day, darling. And as you rub the creams in, say that. Okay? What do you think about letting go of your affirmations? It doesn't work, darling. Sorry, you've come from some LOA world. Guy, you've got to persist until it hardens into fact. Are you going to forget about it while you're letting go? No, you're not. I've got a million videos on this in my TikTok, guys. It doesn't work. Letting go of the old story about it, letting go of resistant thought, yes. Not letting go of the actual manifestation that you want. That's fucking ridiculous because you're not going to stop thinking about it, are you? You are so good with affirmations. Oh, thanks, darling. I just think of them on the top of my head. Thank you. You are so amazing. Oh, you're welcome, daily dose of Chewski. I have an interview coming up. I'm nervous. Stop saying you're nervous. Assume they love you. When you walk in there, assume they love everything about you. They lap you up. And when you leave, assume you work there already, darling. I love working at such and such. 
Uh, do you think self-hypnosis is a faster way to get into the subconscious? Guys, the way to self-hypnosis, self-hypnotize, I don't know how to physically do it, but I know the closest thing to doing it is state akin to sleep, which is when you're drowsy, when you're in the close to sleep state, which is when you're waking up and when you're going to sleep. Okay, but actually about self-hypnosis, I've never tried to do it myself, but I know I have been hypnotized in the past and it absolutely works because you're turning off your monkey mind and your subconscious is wide open. So either you get someone to do it for you or go and watch some YouTube videos on self-hypnosis. I've never actually tried it, but it absolutely works because you're turning off your monkey mind and your subconscious is more open to the new ideas. What's your way of manifesting if you don't journal? I think it, darling. got to think new thoughts. It's all it is. The journaling doesn't really do anything. It's the thinking while you're journaling. It's the new thought you're generating. Your habitual subconscious thinking creates your reality, so you have to have new thinking, not new writing. Writing doesn't do much. You've got to think it while you're writing it. You've got to imagine it, the scene, while you're writing it. You've got to think, oh, this is me, the new me, while you're writing it. You just write it and write it and write it and write it. It won't do anything. That's why writing affirmations doesn't do shit over and over and over and over and over again because you might be thinking, oh, I really need to wee. I need to get a leg wax. Why is my SP calling me back while you're writing? It's all right if you're journaling an idea or your new life or writing down the old story, burning it, writing the new story, that's great. But you're going to be conjuring up images while you do that, which is why it works. But just writing and writing and writing and writing the same thing over and over does jack shit. You've got to think it. Mm -hmm. What brand is your wig? It looks like a wig, doesn't it? Laws, I've been working on self-concept and I've gotten so many friend requests from men in the past few days. Have you, Brit Faith? Yay! Good for you, darling. I love it. Good for you. Uh, I listened to a few, but the feeling is a secret. It's the best to start, yes. Um, any more questions, guys? Otherwise, I'm going to go. Thank you. You're so amazing. You're welcome. I uh, can't see any more questions. Let me scroll up. What podcast? What are we talking about? Can you manifest a better version of a person? Yes, darling. You probably created that shitty version, so now just uncreate it. They are this to me. They are pleasant to be around. They love talking about me. They don't talk about themselves. They talk about me. They focus on me. They give me so much attention. They give me so much love. They're constantly showering me with love and affection. Whatever it is you want from them, start recognizing them as that version now. Only see them as that version, and as the old version shows up, just recognize that's the old shitty version you created, and you're creating a new one, and don't react to the old version while the new version is turning into they're turning into the new version. Don't react. Just see them as the new them. Death to the old man, only see the new man. Mm -hmm. uh, persist with my affirmations till my 3D conforms. Yes, darling. Oh my god, I manifested a slimmer face within two weeks. All thanks to your teachings. Thank you. Did you, my darling Sonia? Oh my god! Good for you! A slimmer face? What were you saying? My face is so wonderfully slim. I love my face. Lovely. How do I get skinny? Exactly what I just said. I love my skinny body. God, I'm so skinny. Why am I so bloody skinny? Imagine people saying, God, you could lost weight if you got so skinny. Hello. Hi, Angel Personified. Feelings matter. Uh, yeah, darling, but you can't control the feelings. What I'm saying is the feelings might matter, but you can't fucking control them. So all you control is the thought and whatever feelings come afterwards, fine. But they're not necessary because you can't control them. So if you're listening to any fucking person like Candace going, feelings matter, yeah, but you can't control feelings, Candace. What the fuck are you talking about? That's not the law of assumption. You're talking about the law of, I don't know, some fucking shit you made up. The only thing you control is the thoughts. If you think the feelings matter, good luck with that. Try and control your feelings for a day. Try that. Get back to me. It doesn't work. Sorry. Uh, well, thanks for the fire, Cat. Uh, thanks for the prezzies. Uh, any questions, guys? Already got the job. Congratulations. Yes, darling. Yes. Woke up a lot last night. Took the opportunity to affirm during state akin to sleep each time. Yes, guys. Okay. But absolutely, when you're waking up in the middle of the night or you're sleepy, okay, and you're drifting off to sleep, use it then. Affirm then because that's when your brain is most wide open. Do you have any success stories of SPs coming back? Yes, darling. Go into my um, Manifest Live with Lost Facebook group. Everyone's commenting in there who's had calls with me or people who haven't even had calls are having success. Or on these lives, people talk to you about the SPs coming back and texting them. They're emailing them again. They got back together. They're confessing their love. Okay, one people even talked about marriage, another person was talking about a ring. 
Okay, lots of different stories, guys, but they're all in the Facebook group. I've only been doing this for two months, but go and watch the lives in the Facebook group. You'll see people commenting or um, look at the posts in the group. All right, guys, please do um, follow Manifest Live with Loz, the Facebook group. It's a private group. No one knows you're in there. You can ask questions. Just answer a few questions when you join so I know you're not a spammer. You can watch over 70 lives back. There's lots of content in there, guys, and lovely, helpful, supportive community. Please do watch my TikToks as well. Follow me if you don't follow me. I go live twice daily. And if you would like one-to-one -one private video coaching with me send me a message in tiktok or through the facebook group um, through messenger we set up a time you send me your time zone and you send me a backstory of what you're trying to manifest what's gone wrong and something about things about your childhood a backstory about you and i analyze it for the subconscious thinking that's causing you to not create your reality and we get on a call and i give you specific things to do to get your shit all right guys please do contact me if you want a one-to-one -one. and thanks so much for following me thanks for joining me